จอดได้ป่ะจีนี่ก็ว่าผมไม่ได้นะไม่เจอที่นู่นบ๊ายบายบ๊ายบายบายบายบายบายบายบายบายบายบายบายบายบายบายบายบายบายบายบายบายบายบายเหมือนไทยมากเลยอ่ะค่ะเงินเอ่อขออนุญาตแป้งนะครับต่อไปเอ่อขออนุญาตเป็นแป้งนี่สุดฟันโอเคโอเคไม่ให้พี่ก๊อยส์ขอบคุณพี่ก๊อยส์ไปที่ Thailand ก่อน Yes. yes. Yeah. This is my third time. Oh my. No, I'm so excited because it's my first time. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> and I love, I love everything. You know, this bracelet is so awesome. I love right. it. I have never been to Thailand. I've never been to this part of the world. And after about 30 hours of traveling, I'm so excited to be here and just to learn about all about your culture and make these relationships with these women. It's exciting to be here. Yeah, I've actually um, in this year went to visit Koh Samui, um, and that's when you know we had our first little chat on a live Instagram video. So that was a lot of fun. And that's where I got to learn about the cultures of Thailand. Um, you know, I love my the sticky rice and yeah. coconut ice cream. I love it so much, and I'm just excited to get to know all the ladies here. Mm -hmm. And this is my roomie. Yeah, we're gonna be on this. Yeah. 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 And Nicole said, "How do you feel?" Well, um, I've never been to Thailand before. This is my first time. But one, the first time when I uh, at, I was at the airport, I can feel that everyone in Thailand is very humble. Everybody was just greeting me and being very kind, and nobody knew who I was. So I can feel that the culture in Thailand. I'm very honored to be here. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> มีความสุขมากแล้วก็แบบ so excited มากค่ะก็ได้อยู่กับเพื่อนๆแล้วก็แค่5นาทีสามารถเรียนรู้วัฒนธรรมต่างๆนี่คือถือว่าเอาไว้หลังจากนี้เราจะมาเรียนรู้กันเพิ่มเติมดีกว่าเตรียมอะไรต้อนรับเพื่อนๆเตรียมค่ะเตรียมเพื่อนก็น่าจะชอบนะคะคือพาร์ตแต่ละประเทศค่ะอันนี้คงไม่อุบแล้วค่ะตอนนี้นิ้งเตรียมมามีพาร์ทประเทศไทยแล้วก็พาร์ทของเพื่อนๆค่ะอันนี้เขายังไม่รู้นะคะพูดสาธารณก่อน I have surprise for you guys but okay oh, I'm not gonna tell you yet but I already tell the media what a team okay. yes. you don't know what it is secret how silly พูดคุยกันเยอะที่พอสมควรค่ะส่วนใหญ่จะเป็นเรื่องภาษาแล้วก็บอกเขาวิธีการพูดภาษาไทยแล้วก็เคาน์เตอร์ต่างๆค่ะแล้วก็จากสายงานหลายๆคนว่ามาจากอะไรคะแนะนำอาหารไทยให้เขาบ้างเนี่ยครับ Yes, I introduced you some Thai food, right? Sticky yes. rice and then yes. in Korea. And Sarah, have you tried anything? Not yet. Thai food? Only Americanized Thai food. food. Unfortunately, uh, actually, I love Thai food. You know, in Amsterdam we have this uh, restaurant. It's Thai food only, and I love see every single dish. It's very nice. I think <laughs> it's spicy, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. With all your ingredients. So yeah, I think green curry is my favorite thing. Green curry. My favorite is tom yum. Tom yum. Try papaya salad. Oh, you got it. Okay, papaya salad. Spicy but hot, like you guys. Oh, thank you. มันเหมือนแบบเราได้มาเข้าค่ายแล้วก็เจอผู้หญิงแบบสวยๆน่ารักกันทุกคนแต่ละคนมาจาก95ประเทศถือว่ามันเป็นกำไรของชีวิตของนิ้งเลยก็ว่าได้ค่ะแล้วก็ที่สำคัญไปกว่านั้นเราจะได้ PR บ้านเราแล้วก็ทำให้เขารู้จักประเทศไทย We are so loved and generous people and we want to everyone have a great time here We will Best memory ever in your life Once in a lifetime opportunity I am low key and very very jealous that I cannot speak Thai in some way. Within two weeks, all you guys can speak Thai. Yes, promise, promise. Oh. 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 Oh.
อยากจะฝากทุกคนนะคะติดตามการประกวดครั้งนี้ Miss Universe นะคะซึ่งจัดกันเป็นครั้งที่3แล้วนะคะ13ปีมาครั้งหนึ่งนะคะสองงาม95ประเทศแต่ละคนนี่คือ represent diversity of beauty แล้วก็อยากจะเชิญชวนทุกคนนะติดตามพวกเราสาว Miss Universe กันค่ะ you wanna say anything to the fans of Miss Universe you guys I'd like to say something just to all the fans. Thank you so much for all the support that you've been showing us so far. I'm sure every lady standing here, we all, you know, we see those messages, we see the comments and the inboxes, and it's really the support from the fans that keeps us going and gives us that confidence to be the best that we can be. So thank you and enjoy the journey with us. Yeah. Yes. And and I would like to 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 know your opinion like as um, beauty pageant. Um, how how do you how do you want to use um, this yeah. platform in order to speak about women, speak about um, yes. the, the issues that that you want to to, to speak about? Um, I know that all of us have our own passions and everything that we want to focus on. But something that's so amazing is that the Miss Universe platform—it's once in a life, you know, once that's a year life. when they can bring 95 women together who can all share their opinions, share their. Um, you know their stories, their accomplishments, and that's already empowering women. Just bringing us all together. Um, I personally, I'm very passionate about medicine, um, so I have started my hashtag Break the Stigma campaign. Um, it's focused on breaking the stigma around tuberculosis because I'm a survivor. But in the broader spectrum, I want to encourage everyone out there to break their stigma because we all face discrimination. We all face um, stigma, even just as women. So I want people to stand up and really share their stories. And also, you know what I've noticed about the beauty pageants, especially in this universe? We're making a shift. It's not anymore about physical beauty. I think spiritual beauty is even more important because then we're talking about the internal beauty. And I think when we create a platform like this, we give women the opportunity to present themselves, to present that uniqueness that resides within us, and so that other people can also relate to us in their way. So yeah, I'm very very happy to be the participant here in this this year's Miss Universe. Yeah. Yes, Angola. <laughs> Um, I think sometimes we are like like a woman. We think we have limited conditions and all oh, everything is mental. And you know, I'm here, so we can do anything um, while we want. So here I am now in a pageant trip, and I feel stronger and I feel confident. Can I say one last thing? Um, you know, I'm just so blessed to be here, and I think what makes Miss Universe so special is that we are women. We are beautiful women, and we can embrace that. But we are also intelligent, passionate, and we have personalities. And Miss Universe is really embracing that—that that women can show that we can achieve anything we want to. Yes. Yeah. Yes. As Miss USA, I've had opportunities to encourage women within the platform of being confidently beautiful. And it could sound as a cliche, but when I'm asked what is confidently beautiful, it's not, um, just as Miss Angola said, it's not all about outward beauty. It's about feeling confidently beautiful in yourself, in your heart, in your spiritual beauty. Um, one time this year, I had to overcome um, body shaming, which is so crazy that as Miss USA, I had people all over social media um, calling me fat, a pig, needs a diet, just horrible things. Um, and I was able to take that opportunity, which, I mean, words hurt, they really do. But women all over the world, no matter our shape and size, should be able to feel confidently beautiful, whether we're walking into school or the workplace or the grocery store. And I was having the opportunity to walk on the New York Fashion Week runway, and I was body shamed. And in that moment, I was hurt, um, but I chose to respond. And I made a video in response because I have an amazing support system. But all of the young girls that saw those comments and thought, well, if she's fat, then what am I? Or if they were were hate if they are if they receive hate in junior high in Indonesia or if they receive hate in Indiana I mean everywhere it happens and it's an issue um, that is just not necessary so it's something that I'm speaking to this year um, never anything I would wish upon myself or anyone else but I'm making that 
icky experience a positive and using this platform to encourage women not to shame on each other and just to be each other's cheerleaders instead of each other's critics. Thank you. I just want to play attention that closest to my heart, which is overcome fears. Everyone have a fear, right? It's the fear of failure, rejections, criticisms, and I've been through it all. And once I overcome all the fears, it becomes strong, and you will have a really beautiful life and follow your destiny. That's why I introduced the project called Unrock and Lab to release girls from their fear and mental break breakthrough to believe in themselves, be confident on who you are, love yourself, and be true, to stay authentic. That's why all the ladies here are so beautiful with art. Amen. You, Amen. Amen. I agree with Taiwan. So this uh, event is not only we inspire other people, but we actually inspire by each of us because we are bringing uh, like different cultures and different anything like races and language which is also my focus. So I just launched uh, Be Diverse, Be Tolerant because I see like like in this in this world there are still many of victims from intolerance. Me, myself, I grew up in a very diverse family. I have four religions in my family and we're living in peace. Then I think Miss Universe is one of the best platform to us women to empower other women and also I come from a small town in Indonesia and I want to empower not only from the big town because all the girl if you're asking what is your dream I want to be Miss Universe and then that's also my dream and I want to empower them and you know just being here I'm so happy to see all the girls all the beautiful girls and I don't even think I'm like we are competing anymore because we are so yeah we are, we are just like family once we met we just like hi we just know each other for yeah. a long time so I think besides uh, all of the campaign that we brought yeah. we want to share that we can do all uh, like this platform also can be our thing to show that girls can work and girl women is the most powerful creature. together yeah. together together right what do you think what do you think in did you do in thailand sorry i'm sorry could you repeat your question well, in Thailand, I have done a little bit of research and I am excited to hopefully explore your whole country. I'm excited to see all that Bangkok has to offer, but I am a very adventurous spirit. I studied abroad in Peru when I was in college, and so I am hoping and expecting to get to explore and adventure and all that your country has to offer. But as far as the competition, like she just said, I'm excited to get to know everyone because I've come in with the mantra and the, the true mindset that I believe we're competing with with each other, not against each other. And whether you're going into a job interview um, or any, truly anything here at Miss Universe, that's how I choose to look at it because you'll just live with so much more ease. And so as far as what I'm expecting from the competition, I don't know. The judges have their hand, their work yeah. cut out for them. Everyone had a criteria on every organization, yeah. just like Miss Universe. Exactly. Yeah, but right now, we represent the diversity of women. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Thank you. And welcome to Silence. <laughs> Focus on the second 